Hey guys, it's Denise with Black Ribbon Stitch Studio. How's everyone doing today? By popular demand, I thought I would uh, do a short video on how to prepare and use DMC Floche in cross stitching. I have here a cross stitch project that I'm currently working on. It's one of my whips or works in progress. And if you can see, I uh, decided to stitch the moon on this project using the DMC Floche. And I'll hold it just a little closer for you so you can see that a little better. Okay. I love the texture of it. And so I thought I would just give you a little demonstration or on how I got from this to this in order to be able to stitch with it. So now DMC Floche is a um, thread that is generally used in embroidery. And I've also learned that it is really uh, beautiful when you are using, uh, when you're making satin stitches. It's really good for satin stitches. So for those of you who like to do that, uh, this is a great alternative for you. The uh, coloring, the color number system of the Floche follows the same color system as the um, six-stranded DMC floss. And the Floche is a single-strand fiber, which is probably equivalent to about one and a half strands of DMC floss. And um, I stitched the moon on this project using one strand, and this is 18 count fabric. So let's go ahead and let me show you what I did to achieve this look. So with the um, regular DMC floss, you know that we can, you may know, that you can simply find an end and pull and use the strand from there. And Floche is, is, a, is a little different. Uh, you may be familiar with this type of thing if you are um, a knitter or crocheter, or even if you've used hanks of floss to stitch with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the tag. And once we remove the tag, we will straighten this out into two even, into an even circle, okay? But you now need to do it one more time. You need to open that up one more time. So now here is your true circle. So you see that? It was kind of folded. Okay. So now we have the full length of it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to look along this length until you find the area where the floche is tied together. And that would be right here. So you're going to simply pull that up and just clip that off. Like so. Okay, and that's going to break your skein apart into two, into one continuous skein. All right, so now I'm gonna move this out of the way and lay this on the table. All right, I hope you can see well. Try to enlarge that just a little bit. Okay, 
So now we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna go into right back where we cut the skein, the skein apart. I'm sorry if I moved out of the camera. And we're going to simply cut this evenly across here. So now we have the entire length of floche cut apart. What we want to do now is simply place it back onto the table, creating three separate rows, if you will. And when you pick this up, you can simply go to one end and cut that. And then go to the other end and cut that. All while trying to stay in camera, guys. Okay. Now, what you want to do is... Take a piece of paper. I'm choosing to use just a post-it note because that's handy, but you can use any paper that you like. But when I do use the post-it note, I try to be sure to, uh, I try to make sure that the sticky part is facing outward. And I'm just straightening these up because that's just who I am. So I'm going to take the, the sticky part facing out and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this around the end of those three portions of floche kind of as tightly as I can. I just want to get it nice and rolled up so that the purpose of this is simply so that I can put my label back on easily okay and now we can just get rid of the paper so what I do from here is I just tend to take two parts and tie them together just tie them together in a little knot and I'm sure with practice, I'll get neater and neater, you know, as we go on. But I'm not really worrying that much about neatness at this point. So we still have our three portions of floche left. And we're just going to uh, sort of lay that on the table and very lightly braid it together. While I try my best to stay in camera. Just gonna braid it like a braid. Which of course, okay, here we go. This is fine. I hope I'm actually braiding guys. I hope so. Just try to keep those three portions separate for your for your own sanity. And I'm sure it went, it, if I was doing this off of ca off camera, it wouldn't be as cumbersome as it seems. But you know, trying to keep an eye on the camera and on what I'm doing at the same time. So. I'm gonna look at what I'm doing at now and hope for the best. So just braid that down. And you wanna braid it until you get not quite to the end, but just almost to the end. I guess I think I'm gonna stop here. And again, I'm just gonna take two parts of the floche and just tie them together. Like 
like this. And so, here's your floche braid. And now, when you are ready to use it, you simply go to your end, choose a piece, slide it out, and now you are ready to stitch. You simply uh, go ahead and thread your needle. Yes, I had to lick that. Simply go ahead and thread your needle. And you are ready to stitch. If you have any questions about this DMC Floche and using it for cross stitch, please do feel free to leave a comment below. And um, I hope that this has helped you to learn a little bit about Floche and has even um, perhaps uh, gotten you interested enough to try it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.